at one point or another, your examiner will tell you, hey, get out your flight computer and tell me what our density altitude is. What are the two pieces of information you need to know to figure out density altitude? Pressure altitude and temperature. Pressure altitude and temperature. Where are we going to get temperature from? We're in the airplane. Read it right off the gauge in there. Read it right off the thermometer. Every airplane has one. How about pressure altitude? Where are we going to get that from? Put in 2992. You're going to dial in 2992 on your altimeter and read whatever it says. Let me give you a little hint about something here. All right? You're going to hopefully, if you are a even seemingly intelligent pilot, be flying with a kneeboard, with a piece of paper that you can write on. Whatever your, al your altimeter setting was, Write that down before you go dialing it to 2992. Okay? Because the examiner's going to say, oh, tell me what our density altitude is. And you're going to get all excited because you know how to do it. And you're going to look at the temperature and you're going to say, okay, it's 45 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm going to 29.92 in my altimeter and it says 8,500 feet. And then the examiner's going to say, okay, reset your altimeter. <laughs> You're going to be like, do you remember what it was? <laughs> Not a good thing. Write down what it was before you change it. So we've got our temperature, got our pressure altitude. Now what we need to do, because our density altitude is in Celsius, is convert. Look right down here on the bottom of your flight computer. There's a conversion chart. So, 45 degrees Fahrenheit is what in Celsius? Five. Roughly seven? Seven. Seven. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's make this first one a little easy on you. And let's just go to 10 degrees Celsius. Plus 10 degrees Celsius. 50. <coughs> okay? Now, here's how you do it. Right down here is your altitude in thousands of feet. Right above it is your, your temperature in Celsius. But notice one side is plus, one side is minus. Make sure you are on the right side. And all you're going to do is line up 10 degrees Fahrenheit with 8,500 feet, like so, and read your density altitude off of the arrow. 10 degrees centigrade. Yes. 10, 10 degrees Celsius. You're going to go 10 degrees Celsius. Here's 0, here's 10. And you're going to align it with your altitude. There's 5,000, 6, 7, 8.5. So you're going to put the 10 on 8.5. Read your density altitude at the arrow. And you're doing it on that tiny little flight computer. And then only using electronics. Because batteries can fail in an electronic flight computer. 